life is good and I know that's not how it has to be. Okay, now up to the top of your head. My family was always broke. My father always had to work two or three jobs just to make ends meet. My mother always complained that we never had any money. I always had to wear my sister's hand-me-down shoes. I hated having leftovers on Friday night. We never got to go out to eat like the neighbors did. My family never had any money at all. There's no way I'm ever going to have any money. Okay, I'm going to stop right there and explain what I just did. What I did was go through some of the specific issues that might be related to your feeling that you're broke and you'll never have any money. If you grew up in a family where money was an issue, then you grew up with a very different belief from someone who grew up with lots of money all the time and had anything they wanted. They don't think about money in the same way because they didn't have to. But if you are, find that you're always pinching pennies and clipping coupons and looking for the best deals, there's nothing wrong with that. But if it's coming from a place of lack, then that's what needs to shift. You need to focus your idea of money from a place of abundance, from having enough, from being worthy of having enough. And that's why I tap through different issues. Now, those were still general issues. You could be even more specific. For instance, the part where my father had to work, always had to work two or three jobs, you could even go further to what those jobs might have been, or how you know that your father hated working them. My father always came home from work looking so tired and never talked to me that might have a much more emotional impact for you than just my father worked two or three jobs. So the more specific you can be, my mother always complained about having no money. And maybe that brings up a picture for you of your mother wearing the same dress day after day after day or the same clothes all the time because she didn't have any money to buy herself something new. You wearing the hand-me-down shoes because there wasn't money for you to have new shoes too those kinds of things. And each incident, each memory is going to bring up a feeling for you. Some will be stronger than others. Some won't matter at all. Some may surprise you at how strong the emotion attached to that is. So you keep tapping through it. If it's something that's really strong, you're going to feel it somewhere. Some people will feel it in their stomach as a tightening or a sick feeling or a tightness in their throat. Some people get a little pain in their chest. Some people get pain in the shoulders or back. It's specific to you where it shows up. Pay attention to those feelings because that's your body's way of telling you you're on the right track. And that's something that you need to pursue and clear. As you work through the issue, the tension, the pain, the sensation will change and fade and eventually just it'll go away. And it usually doesn't take very long. So we'll continue. Say you started out with a, a fear of 10 on never having enough money, that the whole idea of being broke and never having enough kind of makes you breathe fast and you, you feel a sense of panic. If you can rate that on a scale of zero to